Hi guys, welcome to the Milwaukee Art Museum, where nature and art collide. Today we are here to explore the Art and Bloom event, where 27 floral installations compete for the Judges and People's Choice Awards. This is a unique sensory experience, where fragrances and colors of the flowers blend with the art, creating a magical wonderland. My name is Lydia, I'm a photographer in Milwaukee, but today I'm going to be your guide in the art and botanical world. First thing first, have you seen the Milwaukee Art Museum building? It's a beautiful architectural masterpiece created by Santiago Calatrava, and it has wings. That's right, wings. And I was lucky enough to film them as they opened today. As soon as you step into the museum, you'll be amazed. The Windhover Hall has been transformed into an indoor garden, and visitors can enjoy live music while admiring the beautiful flowers and the gorgeous architecture of the space. This wall was sponsored by Milwaukee Airport. Looks amazing, isn't it? So, MP! <laughs> now let's talk about the main event, the Art in Bloom exhibit. you'll see remarkable floral designs that are pleasing to the eye. But when those flowers are used to interpret and mirror a work of art, the results can be astounding. We're going to take a closer look at a few of the installations. Florist Melissa Maas used moss, grapevine, and wire to create her piece, correlating with Kari Kovan's piece positions. The organic and earthy materials she used perfectly mirror the natural elements in Kovan's work. Florist Joe Divine was inspired by Katarina Gross's untitled piece. The bold colors and interesting textures work amazingly with the repetition of vertical lines. Divine's interpretation perfectly captures the energy of Gross's work. And can we just take a moment to appreciate this piece by Bella Fiore Company? Emily Neubauer, Amy Rees and Connie Young have created an absolute masterpiece. This installation inspired by Sam Gilliam's work and celebrates the physical structure of his piece. It's no wonder it's a favorite among visitors, including myself. Plus, it even goes nicely with my outfit. We've got so many other amazing installations here, each with their unique take on the task. Flores Jen Breakback used bark and coffee beans on her installation that correlates with the work of Derek Adams in our time together. And Katie Bonder's piece was inspired by Hector Hippolyte's Black Magic. While Denise Gerke used Aspidistra lotus pod and sunflower to create a piece that correlates with Damien Paul's Sirens with Trumpets. We were lucky enough to catch florist Fanny Müller discussing her creation in the gallery next to her piece, showcasing the diverse perspectives and inspirations that each florist brings to their work. I start from the floor to ceiling. You have the all-female orchestra creating music that is translated with the vibrant color and the different layers going up slowly, all the way up to the top, filling up the room, just telling you how loud and just magical everything that they're creating is. And on the top, you have the French horn, which is the loudest instrument in the orchestra and represents by the calla lilies, which is shooting out the sound up to the ceiling. Wow, isn't she amazing? 
In the meantime, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me in YouTube algorithms. Which piece is your favorite so far? Please let me know in comments. Lauren Hublewitz and Mac Hopkins were captivated by Rufino Tamayo's Woman in White, drawn to his use of color and texture. Jacqueline Nunes' installation was inspired by Jean Dabafet's Courts Le Rue. Floris Linda Johnson, Sarah Scardino, and Jennifer Stahl aim to express the light, airy, minimalist feel of Alexander Calder's Just a Sumac to You, dear. They used a few different flower types to express the sculpture's shape. Alisa Grimaldo and Lina Laaki's installation was a reflection of Ferdinand George von Müller's The Interruption, emphasizing themes of youthfulness and interruption through movement and color. Karen Jamel, Brooke Scott, and Max Schussler created a beautiful flower and pottery installation to complement Ray Yoshida's swarm conveying the fluffy details swarming around the clean lines of shapes. The talent of the floral designers at Art & Bloom is exceptional, with each installation being a unique interpretation of the artwork it correlates with, creating a sensory experience that is both beautiful and inspiring. Florists Drew Holly and Amanda Klein created a stunning piece that correlates with Ed Reinhardt's abstract painting. Aaron Glantz and Nicholas Wall drew inspiration from Gaetana Kuzadi's Still Lifeless Fish, capturing the essence of the sea using ingredients that simulate the painting's play of light. Heidi Hornung and Patti Nagai found inspiration in the red painting, using warm colors to invite and comfort viewers. Many visitors came to see these amazing installations with some looking like they truly belong in the art world. For instance, a cheerful group of ladies wearing fabulous red hats caught my eye. Hey, this is the Red Hat Group, and our group has been together for 19 years, and there's 20 of us. We started out with high school friends, the class of 57. So we just have fun. You can join any time, but if you're not 50, and I don't think you are, <laughs> you have to wear pink. a pink hat and lavender, not purple. And we just have fun. We, we go to lunch and we go on tours. Meanwhile, my husband was enjoying himself too. Just when you thought you've seen it all, the next installation takes your breath away. Michael Alt's piece, in correlation with Guillermo Kvitka, is a true masterpiece. Alt's attention to detail is evident in every aspect of the installation, from the scale to the shadows to the minimalism in color. Alt's interpretation is a perfect echo of Kvitka's painting. Now, it's time to vote. Guess which one is my favorite installation? Art in Bloom at the Milwaukee Art Museum is the true celebration of art, nature, and community. With so many talented florists and artists coming together to create such stunning installations, it's no wonder that the event is sold out every year. Thank you for joining me today on this journey. Please subscribe to my channels to see more videos like this. I hope to see you soon.